Hey everyone, Kevin from Robertson's Power and Sports. Today we're going to take a minute to show you some accessories that you may or may not know about that you can add to your Sea-Doo Spark. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so to go over some of the accessories that we've added to this all new 2021 Sea-Doo Spark 3 up base, uh, many of you, if you've been shopping for Sparks, you've seen them before in the, up here in the front, there's a big opening. And a lot of you will ask, hey, what's that opening for anyways? Um, the answer is, you can add a front storage compartment to this machine, which we've added here. The sea Spark doesn't have hardly any storage on the machine to begin with, so anytime you wanna bring something with you, you gotta have an option. So this front storage compartment works super easy. It's super easy to install. Open it up, and you got a decent amount of storage up front here. Now, I will tell you, do not keep your most valuable items in this front storage compartment without putting them in them in some sort of a dry bag. This is not a waterproof compartment by any means. So again, make sure you put anything that's valuable, a cell phone, camera, wallet, put that in a dry bag and then put it inside here to definitely help from getting wet, all right? Uh, we've also added a set of sea bumpers to this machine. A lot of times we're out there on the water and you know you want to pull up to a place to dock. You don't have bumpers with you. The water is rough and the boat is just banging up against the dock as you as you go for lunch or whatever you're doing. Um, so Sea-Doo came out with this bumper option. No mounting to put it on the Sea-Doo Spark, which is nice, super easy to take on and off with you. I will say though, you cannot ride with these on. They will fall off if you're out riding. These are intended to just be on while you're at the dock. When you're getting ready to take off, take these off, put them back in your storage compartment and go ahead and continue on with your day. I'll show you how they come off. They're super easy. Just take the bottom, pull it out just a little bit, pull straight up and it's off. All, all that it is is this little stem right here goes into the foam, it kind of snaps into place. So that's all that's holding it on there. So to put it back on, just pull that stem out. There's a little mount hole right here. Just slide the bumper right down through the stem, hook it back in and you're all set. Awesome accessory to have, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time on the water and going to different places, uh, stopping along the way. Also, this machine here, we've kind of set it up um, to be able to do some, uh, some water sports behind it. So we went ahead and added a set of mirrors to this machine. Um, these mirrors work very, very well and enables the driver to be able to see directly behind them. Keep in mind, you're on a small watercraft out there. Um, it's easier for you to see boats than they are to see you. So being able to have a nice field of view behind you is awesome to have. It just adds another safety aspect to this machine. Not to mention if you're gonna be tubing or anything behind it, you'll be able to also see what's going on behind you along with the spotter letting you know what's going on. So we added a set of mirrors. Um, another thing that you may have noticed with Sparks is their seat, okay? The seat's a little narrow. Um, if you're gonna be spending a lot of time on these things, I highly recommend upgrading to this seat right here, which this is the comfort seat. A little bit wider, more padding in it. Um, it's just gonna offer you a better overall comfort for those little bit longer rides. Moving around the back, we talked about setting this up to be able to do some tow sports. We've added the Sea-Doo Tow Pro to this machine here. Um, this here stows right out of the way when you're not using it. When you're gonna use it, pull the thing right up, locks into place. This offers, offers you a place to be able to hook up your, uh, your tow, tow rope to. The other thing is when you're gonna be using this to do any type of tow sports behind it, you need to have a spotter here on the back so that, that spotter needs to face behind to be able to let the driver know what's going on with the person on the tube or whatever they're on. So this off this app um, gives you a set of handles to grab onto for the spotter. You can either grab onto the side, grab onto the top here, whichever. Um, this also has a place, give, offers you a place to be able to store your tow rope so it doesn't get sucked up in the boat. So really, really nice option on this machine here. Again, stows right out of the way, nice. The other thing we've added to this particular boat is a reboarding step. Another great accessory by sea um, If you've been on these things before in deep water, trying to reboard them, it's not the easiest. So we go ahead and added the spring, spring-loaded reboarding ladder. Just fold right down, put your knee right on this, grab the handle, pull yourself back up. Again, if you haven't had one of these, this is almost a must have for these, for these Sea-Doo's. So that's a wrap on the 2021 Sea-Doo Spark. I hope this video helped you out. Learned about some accessories maybe you didn't know about that you can add to yours. 
We will link all the description, all the parts and descriptions in the, uh, sorry, in the description below will be all the part numbers and descriptions for all the accessories that we've added to this machine. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit that little bell so you can get an alert for when we come out with future videos. That pretty much wraps it up on this one. Thanks for watching.